And a warm welcome from the south coast of England. We find ourselves at the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Bournemouth taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Tavernier. Dominic Soranke on the ball. Now, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. He can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swirl on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Well, the keeper had to be... Kleibert. Can he put it away? And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Let's see about the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Semenyo. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Bruno Fernandes has it. Back to Fernandes. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Given away by Manchester United. He has teammates around him. Soranke. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Who can they pick out? And Bournemouth losing possession. Well, that one has promise. Can he make it count? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Short corner it is. Enjoying time and space here. Anthony. This is Varane. Composed and patient passing. Incisive pass. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Marcus Tavernier. Here's Kleibert. Released it nicely. Well, you have to put that one down as a chance to draw level. Well, it certainly wasn't an easy chance, but one they needed to take.
Diogo Dallo. So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. What to do, Stuart? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Soranke, can he get the level? And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Christian Eriksen now. Advantage, Manchester United. And in the perfect position to read it. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. A good vision there. And teammates around him. Oh, can they convert? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. And the referee blows the whistle. The first half is in. And so the battle. And the ball moving again, advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. High quality defending. certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. They've drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle. And it's... Oh, look at this, they must score! Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. A disappointing end to the move. Anthony. Christian Eriksen now. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. Eriksen. Diogo Dallo. Eriksen. And Bournemouth have it back now. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? And nicely struck. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, as you can see from the stats, their general play has been excellent. They've dominated the play, they've created chances, but the finishing has been really poor, and that has to change at some point. 20 minutes remaining. Really good challenge. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And it's two for him! today a masterful performance the defenders unable to stop him
here. It all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Bruno Fernandes has it. Good tackle, take it away. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Just can't get it past him. Anthony. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in the future? In with a chance. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Kleibert. Well, on the attack, Eliza here. This looks promising. Kleibert. Here's one Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes has it. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the referee blows for full time. Not what Bournemouth fans had in mind this, a defeat. And Stewart, I wonder how you would assess their performance. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots.